We watched Friday as parents and students gather to honor the fallen and pray for the injured during a special candlelight service. Throughout the morning, we will be focusing on efforts to protect our children and harden our schools. Our coverage today is dedicated to those lost souls of the brave men and women who rushed to save them. NRA TV correspondent Kerry Pickett talked with locals and lawmakers throughout the weekend. She'll bring you the Texas governor's action plan in just minutes from now. We'll also combat some of the lies being spread by the devious national media. And throughout the morning, we'll be sharing some thoughts from the people dealing with this tragedy directly. The people of Santa Fe, Texas weigh in on the school security issue. All that is ahead on a very, very busy morning here at NRA TV. It feels like there is a rise in mass shootings. They are happening at a faster pace than I can ever remember. The question is why? There is no one answer, but I put most of the blame on two issues. The breakdown of the family unit, an active involvement from parents raising their kids, and the other part of the blame goes on the media. Yes, the media has written the script for the modern day active shooter. In the mind of a deranged youngster, the mainstream media glorifies the killer by plastering his photo across our airwaves and internet. The moment there is even a hint of a mass shooting, even false alarms, the media breathlessly breaks into programming. They love the drama, the emotion, the tears and despair. Yes, for them, it's ratings gold. It's also a playbook described over and over again for the next mass shooter to mimic. The mainstream media has created its own dark reality show, maybe not intentionally, but nevertheless, always recruiting new players to conduct the next mass shooting. We will not play the photo of the confessed killer of the Santa Fe shooting. You will not hear me say his name, but you will hear many, and I mean many people say his name and the name of the NRA in the same breath. It is devious and despicable. The left is already rushing to blame us saying we don't understand the situation. We don't understand what it's like to worry about our children. The problem with that is the faces of the NRA are filled with mothers and fathers and people who want to build safe communities. We don't agree with the left's approach, an approach that includes really horrible headlines. I'm talking about the Washington Post for one. Take a look at this headline. Texas school plan had a shooting plan, armed officers and practice, and still 10 people dead. A headline that disregards the true nature of the mass killing, a determined killer who scattered a bag of bombs throughout the school to guarantee his mission. That headline is totally out of line. It should read, 10 dead, dead scores saved by officers. The reporters who wrote this story are all responsible for that headline, we will be calling all five of them and following up on the ridiculous nature of the headline. So Todd Frankel, Brittany Martin, Tim Craig, and Christian Davenport, I am talking to you. You will be hearing from producers here at NRA TV. We want to get your answers as to how you come up with a headline like that. Read it one more time. Texas school had a shooting plan, armed officers, and practice, and still 10 people dead. Do they somehow want to ignore that the number of dead and the casualties could have been so much higher if it weren't for those two armed school resource officers who taking fire, one critically injured, and hours of surgery later? Those two men are heroes in all of this and prevented more lives from being lost. That is the cold, hard facts that they do not want to face. 